Hello and welcome, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my beautiful fellow Pisces. This is our daily vibe from our guides' messages for October the 8th. Starting off in our present situation, we've got safe advice or sage advice. We could be um, hearing about something from um, a, a wise source, somebody who brings in something of meaningful, uh, tangible um, advice for us. And we need to sit down and think about it. But we also have the ability as Pisces, being the innate healers that we are, to want to maybe perhaps give someone else advice uh, from our experiencing experiences and setting things <clears throat> by example to help other people, giving them uh, the ability to realize their greatest potential as well. So you may be getting some advice yourself, though, Pisces, because it comes in with the Nine of Wands. And we know the Nine of Wands is that card of <clears throat> feeling as though things, excuse me, aren't working out in our favor, taking too long, wondering why these challenges are happening to us. But we need to realize that if we don't give up and we stand there and we defend our corner, and the things that we've created that deserve defending will get ahead. You might be seeking advice, Pisces, from somebody who can guide you through a process today. Maybe there's some information you need that you're not aware of. Maybe you need some uh, some counseling from somebody that can say, hey, been there, done it, have the medal. Um, they're able to, off the cuff, give you some wise uh, criticism and wise advice. But the Nine of Wands says you're not going to back down. You're going to continue moving forward and you're not giving up. This card says you need, you're almost there, so don't give up. There could be some struggles today that are, and some challenges today for some of us, but not giving up and rolling over is going to prove to you how resilient you really are, Pisces, today and that you deserve to stand your ground. Coming in with what you need to focus on today, you've got Sweet Summer Child. And it comes in with the Eight of Cups. So I think you're beating to your own drum. I mean, I love how these two come together. You're able to go on a journey that's yours and solely yours today. You might be planning something new. You could be saying, hey, I'm, I'm going in a new direction. I'm not feeling satisfied, fulfilled, and seeing the rewards coming in from my hard work and efforts. I'm moving on. Now, some of you might be planning something on your own. You're big, big dreamers. And you might be just saying, I'm getting out of the here. I'm going to go out and have lunch out on a park bench in the park. I'm going to go put my feet and take my shoes off on the grass. I'm going to walk in the sand. I'm going to, you know, put my hands in the earth. I'm going to hug a tree today. Whatever the case is, my beautiful Pisces. This is a card that says you need to focus on you. Go in that direction that you need to go in. Some of you could be making this more of a, uh, a more serious issue whereby maybe you're leaving a situation, a friendship, uh, a, 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 a romantic relationship, your job, something that isn't bringing you the return that you deserve for the hard work and effort that you've invested. Know that you have this ability, my sweet summer child Pisces, to create your dreams. Dream big. And as you go forward today towards something new, keep dreaming. Don't back down. Stand your ground. Um, I think you've, you, you, you've got the green light, the go ahead to go after something new. The Eight of Cups says you're leaving something and going forward. But it's also the card of balance which means uh, we need to take our time. We need to think about everything. We need to pay attention to the details as we make our plans to go towards some new direction. Coming in in the center position, which could be our challenge position, we've got personal investment. So what are you personally investing into yourself? Look at her. She's hugging herself in her reflection in the mirror. And this means take a look at yourself right now. What Are you happy? Do you like where you are? Are you in fulfilling relationships, jobs that make you happy to go to work? Are you happy within yourself? Pisces, this is time to invest in yourself, your inner self. Do that shadow work. Do that inner work that is challenging you at this time. The tower comes in with that and says you're about to make some major changes. And that's okay. You know, something might have just suddenly you had this epiphany, this moment, and you went, you know what? 
this is what I'm doing today. I'm walking away from unfulfilling situations, relationships, jobs. I'm going in a new direction. I'm doing this for me because I need to love myself more to realize that I deserve this. And you do. Pisces, this is making changes for the better, rebuilding a new foundation, stepping up to the plate, getting back in the game of life. Beautiful. We've all had our tower moments when things have suddenly blindsided us and things have happened, but it gives us those moments of strength, those moments where we finally look in the mirror and we say, you know what? Why have I enabled this? Why have I allowed this? Why have I been here this long? And then all of a sudden we say, you know what? We're going to pivot and we're going to change things today for us, for the better. Coming in with your messages from your spirit and your guides, you've got taking time. And it's all about thinking about what you want. I almost look at this and think of the... the um, you know, think about uh, the card where, you know, it, you know, we're sitting there, we're hanging in limbo, the hangman, and it's about us taking time. You may have been, you know, something might have suddenly happened here where you had that epiphany moment. And you went, you know what? Yeah, I need to change something today. Uh, I'm not going to do the same thing over and over again. I'm not going to enable these situations that don't make me feel fulfilled and happy. So, but you're going to think about it, okay? And and you're going and your guides are saying, take this seriously. Think about it because you've got the page of Pentacles too, and it may have to do for some of you with your job and your career or your you the material material in your life which could be in the form of money. So you could be working on something saying, you know what? I'm leaving this job. I'm going to I'm worthy of getting paid more money. I'm going to apply to a different position. I'm going to possibly take <clears throat> some sort of course that is going to give me extra skills to put on my resume to level me up into that next financial tax bracket working hard for your future. So you may have been, you know, and take your time to pay attention to the details. Pisces, this is a card that often says this page brings us information and it's good news and it's good news about money whereby we are either given the resources and that moment of insight to do this okay to do to make these changes to make our life better and more fulfilled and perhaps it's financially for some of us now our outcome is serendipity don't we love that yes serendipity those moments of uh, that happen all of a sudden those moments that we 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 you know that land in our lap that epiphany moment where the third eye opens and we go aha yes this is what I'm going to do. Thinking about nostalgic things as well, you could be thinking about those moments. Why did those things work out for me at that time? Why was I <clears throat> happier in those moments in time? Thinking back and saying, what can I do to bring that back? Well, I can create the same, the same energy when maybe with different people, different jobs, different situations, but you can still create that serendipity. And it comes in with the best card in the entire deck. Don't we love this? It's the sun. And the sun is about happiness. The sun is about being there for other people and other people being there for us. It's that card of all over well-being, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical good all over well-being. It's saying that no matter how tough things get, the sun is still going to rise. Even after a storm, we can see the sun start to peek out through those dark clouds. Pisces, the sun is us walking in that light, in that illumination, and seeing a clear sight line for a wonderful, fulfilling new future and a great day. Well, I wish you a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, and prosperous and successful day, my beautiful Pisces. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful mermaids and mermen.